Well, good morning, my brothers and sisters. This is uh, Prophet Wes uh, coming to you this morning. And I don't have too much to um, um, say this morning, um, but I do want to say um, good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. And there's something that's taking place in your life. And just like when I was talking about acceleration, uh, the God speaking to me, he was accelerating his people. In other words, his people was growing. His people were moving forward. His people eyes were opening up. His people eyes were becoming aware of the tactics of the enemy. Um, his people, uh, God's people are being healed. Um, families are coming back together. Things are being restored. Hearts are being restored. Families are being restored. This is what I mean. Changes. God is causing you to change. This is your season of change. This is your change in season. Just like in the book of Ezekiel with the almond reed. Uh, the almond reed, when the almond tree or the almond reed is there, it represents the sign of a new season. The beginning of a new season. And this is what's happening with you. If you notice, when it's going from spring to fall, how the leaves begin to turn colors and how the trees begin to, the leaves begin to fall and how things begin to fall away. Many of you, you're in your fall season. Some of you, you're in your summer season. You're in a season where you're going to blossom. You're in a season where things are going to begin to sprout out, begin to flourish, begin to um, appreciate itself, uh, begin to compliment itself, begins to compliment God. Uh, harvest, your harvest, what you've been through is complimenting God. That's why the Bible says if you, if, if you think not at the promise, you're going to reap the harvest. You are appreciating God. When your harvest comes, your harvest is glorifying God. It's giving God's glory. It's giving God praise. Every animal, every creature give God's praise. The wind give God's praise. We give God praise. The rocks give God praise. Everything give God's praise. Everything we do when we do it unto God is giving him praise. Your pain is giving him praise. Your discomfort is giving him praise because you're doing it in his name. And because it's giving him praise, there's coming a greater praise. There's coming a greater glory that's coming concerning you. But what you must do in the season is hour, as you're doing it, go with the flow change. Allow the change to take place because God is taking you from faith to faith and glory to glory. Understanding to understanding, wisdom to wisdom, uh, power to power, authority to authority. God is elevated. God is taking you up higher. But with every time he takes you up, there's a warfare, there's a fight, there's pain, there's discomfort, there's all those things, but all those things are part of it. As I talked about the rocket being launched, fuel, fuel, you've been filled up. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God, you've been filled up, you've been filled up, you've been filled up, and now you've been released. You're being released, the change is taking place. Nothing never stays the same. I, I, I also often, 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 and I've had this conversation and God has spoken this conversation to me. It's almost like hitting a wall. And if you're hitting this wall, you know, never know the wall is coming down until you don't, never know on the inside of the wall how it's being broken, how things are being crushed. This is what's happening to the adversary. This is what's happening to your pain. This is what's happening to the situation in your life. It's happening. It's taking place. Suddenly it's taking place. Breakthroughs are taking place. Watch God. Watch him. Watch him. Just like you saw the video of the man of God laying on hands on my son and how uh, my son's uh, my bones are getting stronger and everything is getting stronger. Watch God. Concerning your life. If you trust him, watch God. Watch God move. Watch God make a way. Watch God heal. Watch God deliver. Concerning my son, keep looking. Keep watching. Watch God. Watch what God do. You already saw what God has done. Watch what God do even greater. It's going to get greater. The story ain't over. It's just begun. God bless you.